it going everyone? This is Bradley Power from Flakey's Auto Body and Custom Suspension. Figured I'd do a basic wiring diagram for a hydraulic setup on a car. What we're going to do here is a four battery setup, three pumps. I'll first show the two pumps, then I'll add the third one in so I don't cause any confusion. I'd like to explain first what makes hydraulics so quick. A lot of people don't understand the principle behind this, so I figured I'd just give you a quick little thing. We run our batteries in a circuit called a series. What a series does is every time you up the battery, you're up in the voltage running in a series. These are 12 volt motors on the hydraulic pumps. On this setup here, by the time we get to the end, we're running 48 volts to these 12 volt motors. So that's what makes them spin up so quick. A dump truck runs the same hydraulic pumps as we do on our cars. The reason they're so slow is they run their batteries not in a series but parallel which means they run all these currents together which will be negative all the way across to however many batteries they have whether it be 2, 4, 14, whatever then they run all their positives together once that lead comes out of the end and goes to their hydraulic solenoids they're maintaining 12 volts because they're running parallel basically they're just running their batteries together just straight what that does it's not quicker, but it lasts a whole lot longer because you're not just drawing off each single battery. You're drawing off all the batteries as one unit. So that's what makes dump trucks so slow and other things that use hydraulic pumps like that. All right, so there's that in case anyone was ever wondering what makes hydraulics so quick. All right, so what we're going to do here is start with your ground on your first battery, and you don't have to go from either end. It don't matter. Just start from one end. It could be this end or this end, whichever. All right, what you do here is you'll start from your ground on the first battery, and you're going to go positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And like I said, what that's doing is upping the voltage every single time, going from 12, 24, 36 to 48. From this 48 voltage, you'll come out, go to your solenoids. All right, solenoids, go to the hydraulic pumps. So what happens is when you hit this, when you hit the switch, you're sending that 48 volt current to the solenoids through going to the motor, makes it spin up, jack the car up. Your switch wire, hook your switch wire up on your 24 volt lead. It gives it better response. Don't put it on a 12, don't put it on a 36, don't put it on a 48. You're gonna burn it up. It's still a 12 volt switch, but hook those up on a 24 volts. It gives them a lot better response time and they'll last a lot longer. For some reason, you're running things on 12, they do not respond and react how they should. You put them on 36, you're going to fry them. They're going to catch on fire inside your car. You're going to be melting wires going down through the car and catch your carpet on fire, burn your low load to the ground. You don't want that. So run your switches off of 24 volts. So here's a 48 volt setup. If you were to want to add another battery in, you know, it's the same principle. Instead of going here, you just go to the other battery link it over, go to 60, 72, whatever you wanted to do. To add the third pump, you know, all you would do would just be come off with another jumper from your positive, and same thing, go into this pump, that's three pumps. I wouldn't run, you know, all these wires like off of just this one. My car, how I've got it is I'm running four batteries and three pumps in my car. Uh, we got two wires coming off the batteries going to the rears and then just off of this first set of solenoids I got it going to the front pump. That way I've only got two wires coming off the batteries and then I've got this one just coming off of that. So but you can do it however. I just wanted to make it simplified. Wiring is really not that difficult on hydraulics. A lot of people don't understand it. They think the wiring is really difficult on cars with hydraulics. It's really not. If someone knows how to weld and use a torch, they can understand simple diagrams like this. Anybody can put hydraulics on a car in a weekend. It's not a big deal. So I hope this helped someone. And if you got any questions, just let me know. I'll try to get some better videos together of how to wire up the solenoids, how to wire up the switches, and actually how to plumb a pump. So I'll try to get a I'll get a real camera out and try to do those. That way it's not shaking. I'm not having to hold it while I'm doing these videos. So like I said, hope this helped.
And if it didn't, sorry to waste five minutes of your life. All right, Westside Car Club in the house, and once again, we out, bitch.